In the previous demo, I created footers for my slides. My next task is to prepare handouts for the audience, and I'll want different headers and footers for those. You'll recall that these headers and footers appear outside the slides, at the top and bottom of printed pages. Selecting these options is similar to what I did before. I open the header and footer dialog box. This time, I select the Notes and Handouts tab. The options are similar to those for slides, with some differences. There's a header option and a page number option, rather than slide number. And there's only one choice for how the headers and footers are applied. They always apply to all handouts and note pages. I make my selections starting with a date. And I want this text in the header. The page number is applied by default. Finally, I want to show people the path to the location of this presentation file. The preview shows where headers and footers appear on the handout page. I'm ready to apply my choices, so I click Apply to All. How do I view the headers and footers on the handout? The best way is in Print Preview. Click the Microsoft Office button, point to Print, and click Print Preview. In Print Preview, I have to select the type of printout I want. In this case, Handouts. I'll try two slides on a page. My headers and footers show up on the top and bottom. To see them better, I click the preview image, which automatically zooms me in. Looking at the file path, I see an error. The word presentation should have an S on the end to match the real path correctly. I can fix the typo directly from this view. I click Options in the print group and header and footer. Then I make my change and click Apply to All. The footer is corrected, and I see the correction in Print Preview. But now there's a different problem. The path is too long, and part of the footer text has pushed over to a new line. To fix this, I need to enlarge the footer placeholder, which I cannot do in this view. I need the View tab. See, just as slides have a master view, so do notes and handouts. I'm printing handouts, so it's the handout master that I want. In Handout Master View, I can change formatting for the header and footer placeholders. Let's zoom in on the page a little so the footer's easier to see. To enlarge this placeholder, I'll click the placeholder to select it. And when I see the two-headed arrow, I'll drag the box to the right to enlarge it. I want to be careful not to increase the height of the placeholder, just the width. With the placeholder made a little longer, there's now room for a full file path. The footer drops back to just one line and sits evenly with the page number text over on the right. I'll look at this in Print Preview again to make sure it looks the way I expect. I'll click to zoom once. Yes, the footer looks the way I want it to on the handout. All my headers and footers are in place now, and I'm ready to print.